So good morning, everyone. Welcome to Physics 71. And today we will have a lecture on potential functions and stability. So last time we discussed um, the work and kinetic energy. You already learned something about the uh, um, the work being the change in the kinetic energy of the of a system. Then for conservative systems, remember that the potential energy is also related to the work done on the system. Assuming that there are no um uh there are no non-conservative forces on the system, the work the external work is related to the change, in fact, to the negative change of the potential energy of the system. Now we may ask, remember uh in this lecture or in this topic, when we go to energies, we are focusing on potential energies that, that are dependent on position. For example, your gravitational potential energy is dependent on, on y, ycm. So in that case, the, the the height from the surface of the earth, for example. Or in that case, for example, your elastic potential energy is also dependent on the displacement from the equilibrium position. In that case, the question now is, is the force exerted on a particle uh, and is the potential energy due to that particle, are they the same? Or are they related to each other? Of course, they're not the same because you are dealing with two different quantities. One is potential energy and the other is your force. However, is the force and potential energy related? And what can we say about the force when when a potential energy as a function of position is given? Anong masasabi natin kayong kay force? Yun yung pag-uusapan natin. And it also deals with the so, the notion of stability. Um, Whether a particle will will stay on that position um, even if a slight nudge is um applied on, on that particle. Yun yung pag-uusapan natin. Ano ba yung mga conditions para masabi natin stable yung particle, yung, yung system na meron tayo? That will be our discussion for today. Okay, so... Here is an outline of this discussion. So first, we will be discussing force and potential energy. And then second, we will discuss energy diagrams. Dalawa lang yung problems natin ngayon, pero mahaba silang problems. But these are really illustrative examples on how powerful um, or uh, how powerful potential energy diagrams and how useful they can be um, when analyzing systems. Marami kang pwedeng gamitin chan. Okay, so here are the objectives of this discussion. At the end of this session, you should be able to first construct the force versus position graph given a potential energy versus position graph. This is reminiscent of our graphical analysis in the um in the previous exam or in the previous assessment of coverage. So kung naalala nyo yung um yung uh graphical analysis niyo sa 1D babalikan natin yan with some extra steps. Okay, kung naalala niyo si velocity time from position time, babalikan natin yan with extra steps. Yun yung pag-uusapan natin. So that's the first objective of this of this session. The second one is to predict the direction of a conservative force based on a monotonic potential energy function. So um saan ba papunta yung particle? Uh, saan ba papunta yung force ng particle? Okay, this is this is something to do uh, this has something to do with the direct, the the relationship between force and and um, potential energy. So, laging mag magaparte yan, assuming that the force is conservative. Okay. Again, remember if the force is conservative, there you can define an energy uh, potential energy function for it. Isa yung sa mga requirements or isa yung sa mga consequences ng pagiging conservative force ang isang conservative force. Um and then. The third one is to locate the stable, unstable, and neutral equilibrium points given the potential energy or forces functions of position. So um, again, special, you stable, unstable, and neutral equilibrium points because it has something to do, uh, it tells us something about, about the dynamics of the particle, about how the particle moves or how the particle uh uh is uh moving or is it uh, is it a press? Ano yung, ano yung masasabi natin sa motion ng particle ayan? Marami kang pwedeng makuhang knowledge about um these uh, points, including that so-called turning point. Yan, pag-uusapan natin as we go along. So, may questions ba, guys? May mga tanong ba? Yan. 